Hello, this is Lives in Sync Tarot. My name is Amber. This will be the bi-monthly reading for the sign of Capricorn during the month of December from the 15th to the end of the month. So happy birthday Capricorn. This reading will be short because it will have the specific energies to focus on the end of the month. Please reference the longer first of the month readings for edit insight. I will have a link in the description box below. So how this reading will be set up, there will be three cards in the first row, which is usually residual energy from the beginning of the month. The second row will have three cards, which is usually the second to the last week of the month. And then the last row will be the last week of the month. On this side of the spread, this will be the bottom card off the deck, which is the overall energy. And any card that falls off falls out while I'm shuffling, I usually put on this side. Just it's it's almost spirit's way of saying, pay attention to me. So I usually put that here. So Capricorn, let me put out your cards. Your first card is the Queen of Swords. The Page of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Hangman, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, the tower. Oh, and my eye went straight to this, the sun card. So, so Capricorn, because your overall card is the tower, this lets me know that something is about to change. There is about to be a new change in your in old patterns or old ideas or old way of life. And something new and stronger will take its place. And whatever this is, is illuminated by the sun. And that brings warmth and confidence and success. Enlightenment on a situation. And these are two arcana cards. Um, hanging over your reading, which means that this is significant. Whatever is happening right now, I feel like when this happens it just feels significant also when I was shuffling the cards I got a little lightheaded which is really weird that never happens to me um, sometimes when I shuffle cards when I do personal readings I feel certain things and this just made me feel overwhelmed overwhelmed like fainting spell overwhelmed um, not in a negative way, but in a good way. Huh. I'm trying to see if anything, but nothing. Oh, there we go. So I just got, oh, two things fell out. Oh, a knight and a page of pentacles. Which means that it's something new. A message of security or a new job um, I'm not getting like anything else but that but it's something new and the 
Knight of Pentacles means that it's coming in slowly but securely. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight, but he's the most secure knight. Meaning that what he brings is a forever thing, almost. It's something that lasts. So... So this tower is breaking down things that were not secure or were not stable. And it's bringing in, thank you spirit, it's bringing in something that is stable for you. So as far as residual energy goes from the beginning of the month. I feel like someone bought in, and, and this is either an air sign or a fire sign. Um, air being Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Fire being Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I'm feeling that they brought in some sort of communication to you. And it was really kind the way that they did it. Um, I'm getting sugar on top so it was really sugary it wasn't all of the truth it was like just enough I'm hearing to see your reaction maybe from this person um, because they want they wanted to test the water to see if you were still I want to say upset because I'm I'm being drawn to this volcano in the back and they have a lot of I'm feeling like they have a lot of built up pressure they have a lot of things that they want to say and it's gonna be a little abrasive and could burn or cut a little and they want to make sure that it's okay they don't want to just dive in and me feeling that way makes me think that because it's something that they want to keep like um it's not something fleeting it's something that they actually some they actually want to keep you in their life they it's not just well i'll just say this because it doesn't matter anyway i don't get that feeling and i'm also feeling that you felt abandoned by this person and that's why they're coming in a little slower or a little kinder um yeah because your your, your relationship and I'm guessing that this is a relationship I'm feeling that it's a relationship, some kind of a um, partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic, just a partnership, two people together, possibly. But I see the Ace of Cups, and that leads me to think that emotions are involved. But emotions could also be involved in a partnership. So, um, I'm also seeing with the, the Two of Swords that the relationship was at a standstill no one was moving nothing was happening and they made that move they made that move to plant that seed so they can rush in is what i'm feeling now for the second to the last week of december which i is the third week of december
I see some giving. And I really don't feel like this is your energy. A give and take, possibly. Um, and I also see that you're moving or transitioning away from what was happening at the beginning of the month. Or this, oh, thank you, Spirit. This invitation, this small invitation that you received, you noticed it as them giving a little back. And it, it's, it's gradually allowing you to move on from what happened. So you can focus on starting this new beginning or you're feeling more passionate about it. I'm feeling that you had kind of let it go a little you had kind of moved on slightly and now and now you're feeling that passion again there goes that well those wands again a king of wands that fire sign aries leo sagittarius So I feel like with this person, I'm feeling like this person has matured a little. You'll notice that they're a little bit different than how they were before. You don't know if you should trust that in that instinct that you have that they have changed because you know how they were before but don't hold on to that idea of what of what they were because they have changed i feel like they have changed or they're they're on a new journey within themselves yeah thank you spirit and just be observant of that i'm feeling just i'm gonna pull in one more card just be observant of it and i'm really feeling like this is this offer that they're trying to give you is a real offer not, I'm not going to tell you that it's secure um, because the, the fire energy is very wishy-washy almost. Um, I feel like the, the fire can come and go. But right now, in their mind, how they feel, this is real. And I, I'm just going to say that. I, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So in the last week with the, with the hangman, it's all about waiting something out and but thinking or making a change but not really moving on it. And what this Ace of Cups is telling me that you are full of emotion. The love is there in this relationship. But I'm really feeling like you have matured as well. And they built something while you were gone. And you built something while they were gone. I feel like they did more spiritual or um, 
growth within themselves like being stronger um getting that imagination or feeling back you know for them but you did more of a focusing on school career um that type of thing or home and you are really trying to make the decision or not even just the decision just trying to figure out how this will work out best for you because and that brings me back here because this tower or this foundation that was broken down while you all were separated or um, just apart I'm gonna say needs to be rebuilt but solid and you know this but the Sun is here letting me know that it's okay like especially in the overall it's putting a warmth or or clarity over this whole reading especially the tower card and these are very secure offers so I'm really feeling like this offer is really it's a real offer and it's the one that you've been waiting for it's your good luck your dream come true you're not your nine of cups that's beautiful Capricorn I love to see a good Capricorn love reading I love it so I'm going to end that there because I'm not getting anything else flowing to me so for the last half of this month I have been using the daily guidance for the angels oracle cards by Doreen Virtue to see if the angels have any more added guidance for you and you got giving and receiving the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale or give or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replacement, balance each inhalation in your life with the exhalation. Thank you, Spirit. So, really what I'm hearing from that is, because I'm really feeling like you don't know if you can trust this person. Like, you don't know if it's going to go back or if it's really going to move on. I, I, from this, from this row right here, I see that they're testing the waters, but it doesn't mean that they actually have done anything to prove themselves. And this is telling me that maybe you're looking, you're looking for them to give. You're looking for them to show some give and take. So you know that it's okay for you to take these thoughts that you have about not trusting them or not, or them not being on the up and up, as you say, and move into calmer waters to this new beginning so the angels are guiding you to really make sure that this person is willing to you've given enough you've shown that you can give enough you know what you're capable of giving and I feel like they know what you're capable of giving that's why they are trying to come back but you need to also receive from them 
as the card says, it is there is a balance, and you need to be in that balance. And that's I think this was what the hangman is for. Thank you, spirit. It's pausing to see this from a new perspective. Pausing to see if that's exactly what they're gonna do, and then you can go towards this cup and investigate these feelings. I looked right at this dove going in to look inside of the cup and then you can feel fulfilled you can feel stable you can feel in your element like you're in control like this relationship has actually matured into something and you'll and that and that that's your wish fulfillment thank you spirit so i'm going to leave this here um thank you for listening capricorn remember that this is a general reading so if it does not resonate with you or you need more insight on your situation, I will be happy to do a personal reading for you. I will have a link to my website in the description to set up a reading. While there, feel free to browse my blog. There may be something there for you along your journey. If you did receive a message, please hit the like button on the video. Share and subscribe to the channel. I am eternally grateful for your support. Until next time love and light.